What's up everybody? Got a new profit trailer and PT feeder video for you. Um, I'm gonna go over my newest settings. I didn't change a whole lot, but I have been getting a lot of questions regarding, you know, my bot hasn't bought anything with the new settings. Um, you know, for whatever reason, it's not trailing when it's in the Super Bowl or the bull market condition. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. I'll kind of try and touch on a couple of them. But one thing we have to remember is we're not in a very bullish or super bullish market right now. So if you have been living under a rock, there's probably a reason that it's not trailing any of your coins right now because the conditions that you set in your app settings folder are determined down here. So these, these market conditions are only met based on your trend, your minutes for longer term trend and your minutes to measure trend. So these are how your bot is going to decide what folder to pick settings from. And so if you're using some super quick or even super long uh, trends, it doesn't really matter because we can go into, um, let's see, if we go into this, this is ADA to Bitcoin. In really no matter what time frame you're looking at. So the 1440 is a one day chart. You're not going to see a very good one day chart for Cardano. You're just not like, look at this. You're, you're telling your bot that you want it to go into a bull market in when it's positive 2% on a one day chart. I don't know if we've seen that. Here's one, one day, and this is just for Cardano. This isn't even for all of the coins. So if you look over the past week for all of the coins combined, you're probably not going to see a bullish market very often over the past few weeks, even months uh, since maybe beginning of February when we had the Bitcoin bottom. Um, I'm not sure you're going to even see that. And on the, uh, let's see, the one hour chart, the same thing is going to happen and you will get into maybe on a shorter time frame, you might see some of these big spikes and that's good. You know, that's the, this is definitely an opportunity for trading, but my whole thought on these settings when I set them out and explained in my video was I'm trying to avoid holding bags and that's why I set these pretty conservatively, but I did change a couple things that I wanted to go over with everybody because when you, when your bot picks a folder to start trading in, it gets another set of settings that it's going to use. And right now for our bull market, it's using EMA gain as the strategy and it has a buy value at negative 0.9%. So what you do next is you'll go into your indicators folder. And my last set of settings had the EMA line at three. So EMA one was at 24, EMA two is at three. But now you have to remember, you can forget these trend signals now. You're already in the bull market and now you're looking at this EMA period. This is 90 seconds. So you're looking at a five minute candle and you're looking for this negative 0.9% drop for when the bot is gonna start trailing to buy this thing. So if we go into the five minute, and we have our 24 and our three EMA lines, we're gonna start looking for this negative 0.9% on where to buy. And this is where it gets very difficult because the, the faster EMA line very similarly follows the price action because it's very quick. It's only taking three candles. So you're not gonna find very many buying opportunities on a very small scale unless you increase some of your EMAs. And I didn't want to increase my my faster EMA to say like five or seven or 10 because then there's bigger buying opportunities. And as you can see, we have just tanked and I didn't want to get into some, some really bad trades and hold a bunch of bags. That was the whole point of me overhauling my settings. So if we go in a little bit deeper and we look for this 0.9%, you might see it here. And no, see, this is only, what's funny about this, this is only 0.4, and that's one of the biggest candles on screen. With EMA gain, where your bot is looking to buy, it's looking to buy 0.9% below the lowest EMA line. So even here, it's only at negative 0.3. So this is the reason your bot is probably not 
um, trailing any of these coins. Now here you can see this wick went all the way down to negative 0.87, but still wouldn't have reached our buy target. And maybe the same thing here. Nope, this one went down to one negative 1.1%. 1 so your bot would probably start trailing in here. Now there's another thing you have to consider with this profit trailer bot is you set up in your host settings file the amount of times you want profit trailer to request data from Binance. So I believe mine is using four or five minute intervals. So your bot is, is really running on a four to five minute time frame. So if this happens in the wrong sequence and your bot isn't going to be looking for a few more minutes um, at this price, then you might not even see this price on like profit trailer may never even catch this price. It might have already bounced back up to point eight and, and that wouldn't have been a trailing opportunity. So that's another thing to remember. And, and that's another thing to, to realize too, is that same thing happens when you're selling. So just keep that in mind. That is probably the reason that your bot is not trailing and I just equate that to a little bit more conservative settings that I'm using. And then also we're in a bearish market. We're not, we're definitely not increasing, especially not on ADA. Um, and then a lot of the other coins are following the same downward downhill pattern. As you can see over the past 24 hours, even we're just, it's all negative. There's, there's a few positive ones and I I'm hoping that your bot picked up on those, but if it didn't, you know, this is the reason why. And then another reason why your bot may not be purchasing is your min buy balance is set to 100 if you're using my settings. So you need to change this to whatever percentage um, of your Bitcoin that you want to trade with. Um, okay, so that's one thing. And then there was another thing that I changed. Um, no, I think that's about it. I, I very minorly altered some of this stuff, the trailing buy. Um, max trailing profit, I believe I, I reduced a little bit. But an, one of the other things, the last thing I really wanted to mention on this is if you already hold a bunch of bags, then this could be another reason why your bot isn't buying anything is because you have your max trading pair set to seven. And um, if you don't increase this, then your bot is in ghost mode, right? It's not even, it's not even looking at at trading because you already have seven trading pairs sitting in deep DCA bags or something. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, let's see. So we've already been over these. If you want to know how this new buying strategy works, go check out my last profit trailer uh, settings overhaul video because that one goes over in more depth on how this stuff works. I posted that like a few days ago. So go check that out and uh, you'll kind of get a better idea of how we're using different buying strategies in different trading folders. And I think it's helping. It's helped my bot a lot. I've, I haven't seen a ton of trades either, guys, like this is normal. But one thing I did ch change for these new settings is I'm going to increase these EMAs a little bit. So for my bull market, if we ever get into a bull market, at least according to these settings here, wherever they are, right up in here. If we get into a bull market and, and Profit Trailer starts using this folder name bull, then I want it to start trading using a five period EMA. So if we go here, we're gonna change this to five and you'll kind of get an idea of how this affects our buying opportunities. So let's see, let's find one of those big candles like this one went down to negative 1.1. This is just a trial and error here, folks. You just kind of have to go in and, and do your research on where you want your, your PT feeder to start buying and looking to buy. So this one went down negative 9.7. If we go back into our folder here, we're looking to buy at negative 0.9. So that would have met our criteria. So we just got to keep looking for stuff like this. This one was way down but it was only 0.62. So this is a little less conservative, but still conservative to me. And, and I'm not going to change these settings very drastically until we I see a decent turnaround in this market. I don't want to get stuck into DCA bags. That's the whole point of this. So my next set of settings is if we're in a Super Bowl market, I want this bot to start looking at a 
a different set of EMAs. I wanted to look at 24 and 9. And you can change these as much as you want. Just go into to the trading view and mess around with the settings on how you want these to look. But as you can see, we're looking at the same chart. And this was that candle that we looked at earlier. It was at like negative 1.15 or something. But if you look here, now it's at negative 1.3. And that's because this EMA line, as you increase it from three to nine, it moves upward. All right, so it's using nine candles instead of three. And when you average out nine candles, it it's a slower moving EMA, if that makes sense. And if you don't understand how EMA spread or EMA gain works, go back on my previous videos and check those out because I do more in-depth explanations on those. So with that, I will be uploading these files to the GitHub and so you guys can download them and kind of follow along. Remember, you're going to have to change a few things. You're going to have to go into the DCA uh, logs or the DCA text files. Let me see. Super Bowl. Let's go in here. So you're going to have to go into these DCA folders for every folder for Bear, Super Bear, Boring, Bull, and Super Bowl. And you're going to delete these if you don't want to use stop loss triggers. If you already have stop loss triggers, um, then you're fine. But if, if you already have deep DCA bags that are more negative than 15%, then go in here and delete these. Um, because they, it will sell your DCA bags instantly if you enable these, if you delete these two stars. So right now, Profit Trailer and PT Feeder will give you an error if you're running this the way it is. You're going to have to go into every single folder and delete those. I am leaving these in there because I don't want anybody coming crying to me saying profit trailer sold all my stuff because I used your settings. So now this is the way it is. <laughs> you gotta go in and delete those if you wanna use my current settings with the stop loss. Um, and the reason for that is I don't wanna hold on to bags. I wanna have my profit trailer and PT feeder running at all times, generating as much passive income as possible. So with that said, Make sure you update your API codes on Binance. If you're a little worried about maybe the hack or whatever, maybe you can you know create new API keys. I know they were down for a while yesterday, but you could probably create new API keys. Keep those things on lock. Never input them anywhere. Um, I always recommend you know making different API keys for different trading bots or whatever. I only use Profit Trailer and PT Feeder, and um, this was not a problem with them. This was a problem with people putting their API keys into sketchy websites. So just be careful out there. Um, with that said, guys, if you want, you like the channel, please subscribe, hit the uh, bell notification to get more updates like this. And let me know any comments you have regarding these settings. If you think there could be tweaked in a certain way that could probably be more profitable, then I always like to hear those in the comments. So keep me posted and I will catch you all in the next video.